Fossil buys wearable startup Misfit for $260 million, YouTube launches its new music app, and the iPad Pro is now available for pre-order. Hey everyone, thank you for being here. This is a uh, sad, surreal, happy, and amazing episode because this is the very last uh, Crunch Week. After many years of the show, we are shuttering it. We are moving on to different pastures and different fields, and uh, I'm a little sad about it, but I'm very happy that we're here together at least one last time. Mm -hmm. I have Megan Rose Dickey, I have Matthew Lindley, I have you, that's enough. But certainly, all things change, and here we are. So we're gonna put that aside and do an episode and do it abnormally, but uh, you know, we love you and thank you for being around for so many years. So, uh, I hear, <laughs> that all aside, yeah. I hear nice that- tra Nice transition. Thank yeah. you. Yeah. They did, did, did not even day. try. <laughs> I thought about a segue, it was like, nah. I don't either. Just, all right. um, so we're, we'll just dive right in and we'll pretend yeah. it's normal, normal week. Um, so uh, watches. 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 Yeah. So, uh, so uh, watches still a thing? I hear they're still a thing. They uh, sure are, actually. <laughs> I love uh, it. Here we are for $14.99. No, this now, is, if you this call, is, now this you is get semi, two. This is semi-relevant because it's a smart watch. So what <laughs> quite, happened, what happened this smart. week, all right, what tell happened us, this week was Fossil bought a wearable company called Misfit for $260 million. Whoa, um, okay. So lots of dollars. Um, Misfit is, uh, they make um, these little, like, fitness trackers that you can stick on your shoe or wear on your wrist. Oh, I, you can put it on your shoe, too? There's, well, the, little 29, little. the $29 one is like one that you can, there, I just saw Do you put it like in your who, shoe or on top? I just like, saw a photo of someone hooking it on okay. their like laces or something like that. Anyways, okay. so they make wearables that range from like $29 to $99. They just came out with a new one, actually, if I'm remembering correctly. Um, but yeah, now they're owned by Fossil, the uh, watch. Company. Company. Yeah. yeah, but that's surprising. But uh, for, for context, how much money did they raise before they got purchased? Something like 60, a little bit more than $60 million. And their last round was about a year ago in October for uh, $40 million. Um, Whoa, okay. Yeah, so, but it's not a terrible, or maybe it's not a terrible exit for the investors. It's 260, but, uh, you know, and like liquidation preferences and all that blah, kind of blah, stuff. Blah, blah, blah. But, like, but it's not probably not amazing, but also not terrible. It's kind of in the middle, I, yeah. I, I guess, given yeah. the numbers. Okay, have you used their products? Uh, I've I've had one. I haven't. <laughs> so I've had one in my possession. This is a really was... long way to say yes. I have actually, <laughs> but not quite though. Someone gave it to me for free, and but then like the battery was dead, so I just never got around to replacing the battery because I actually had to get a physical watch battery. One of their, one of their like, what the yeah, 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 one of their big selling all points. About? That's one of their big selling points. And so it's like... maybe sitting in a drawer somewhere at my apartment, but so no. <laughs> But it's okay, also I, I really, I wish we could condense that answer of like all 87 words in it into like, eh, eh. and that's the entire point. Yeah. Eh. But I mean, they, they are actually really uh, attractive little things. I mean, they're, yeah, they're small, yeah. they fit in the, yeah. Misfit, Misfit's always been a kind of like a high design company. So, um, you know, it's not, it's kind of not so surprising that a company like Fossil would want to buy them. So for people like me who have absolutely no fashion sense whatsoever and don't really know how to accessorize, uh, is Fossil a company that makes watches that are thought to be attractive or are they more of a mid-range Timexy sort of thing? I mean, I was really into Fossil watches maybe high in school. high school. And before that it was Baby G. <laughs> Love that was a dramatic co subtweet there. That was that was an impressive. <laughs> I mean, even for us, that was shady. Wow. All right. All right. So we'll take that. But I mean, do we think that we're going to see other acquisitions by companies like Fossil into the wearable space as technology brings new things to our uh, bodies? I guess. I mean, even a company like Tag Heuer is going after the space. They're making a fifteen hundred dollar wearable smartwatch With thing. Intel. Are they a fashionable yeah. watch brand? Actually, I'm not. I think with so. I don't know. Well, I didn't know how to pronounce Tag. Tag. What is tag it? Tag Heuer. I thought it was Tag Heuer. <laughs> so apparently, I'm just really off off base here. Okay, let's uh, talk about watches though. Moving Moving ahead. So, uh, music is a big thing, and uh, this week had a lot of music news. Uh, Apple brought Apple Music to Android. Uh, YouTube launched a app for both iOS and Android. Uh, Beats is being shut down, and also Vivo rebuilt their service uh, kind of from the ground up in a design sense. So we've seen a number of very big news stories in the music space, mm -hmm. and I, I'm curious as to why now. I mean, three years ago, five years ago, we were in the ebook mania. You know, mm -hmm. Kindle was going big, and it was gonna be the future of that sort of media. And now I feel like we've entered into a zone of innovation on the music side of things that is both interesting and, and, and impactful. Well, so, so this is an actually a generally interesting move even by uh, Google that um, I think if I'm remembering correctly, YouTube Music requires a, or you get a free trial, but it requires a YouTube Red trial. subscription or something like that, yes. right? Um, 
you know, Google's always been known as an advertising company, right? Like that's how they make the majority of their revenue. And so now they have a subscription service, which is super interesting. And so, you know, it's 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 interesting that we've seen this move over to subscription services for music vis-a-vis mm -hmm. -vis things like I think Apple Music requires a subscription, if I remember correctly. Yeah, it's like nine ninety nine, yeah, and yeah. then they trick you into paying for it. Like yeah, yeah, three months free trial, something like that. <laughs> I meant to cancel. And it, then Taylor weird. Swift calls you, and she's but sad, no, 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 and no. all music, of a sudden you're paying her more money. Music, and music, the whole thing. Music's, music's very sticky, right? It gets you onto a platform because it's just one of those like universal use cases for smartphones, right? And so right. one of the big things with uh, YouTube Music, if I remember correctly, is that um, you can play it in the background if you have a subscription, right? Right, right. Which is, Which is cool. Yeah, it's usually. Spotify with you know regular other music apps things like that right right yeah because without the um, without the the YouTube app it's like if you were to watch a YouTube video and go to any other app like mm -hmm. it would just which would be absolutely insane by the way <laughs> I, I thought it, so I basically thought everything is copying Spotify more or less all right so exactly. let's take a little informal poll here there's three of us so it'll be a scientific study um, <laughs> what do you listen to music on right now usually SoundCloud okay. well you're a hipster and. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to go to Spotify. Okay, so two Spotify and something else. Right? Yeah. Yeah. yeah, but I wish they would allow offline listening. I'm just not I have cool a wish list SoundCloud. for SoundCloud, but I guess it's still trying to figure out, like, oh, are we legal or not? Yeah, so yeah, yeah. There's it's like great. It's good for EDM, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. remixes, it's, it's, mashups. But my, my point is, you know, we're talking about Vivo and Apple Music and Beats and all these new things. And the three of us are really on what I would almost call traditional music platforms. We are not moving. I mean, I don't have a, a burning desire to, to F off and change plans. You know, I don't think I'm going to go join YouTube Red. I'm going to stay on Spotify. Right. Yeah. And but with me, I've never been that into watching music videos on YouTube or listening to music on YouTube. But apparently, a lot of people really are. Yeah. I mean, I do it all the time. I sit next to you at work, so I hope you also like I'm, speed metal on YouTube. Yeah, you're always like on that. YouTube. I, I love YouTube. I, I, to so, me, it is, it is a way to add an extra flair and dash of excitement to my day-to-day -day work life. Mm -hmm. That's hmm. why I have more monitors. I have one yeah, just playing metal videos <laughs> all day. It's fun. So that's why you won't give okay, Henry but, a but I mean, a lot of music that I listen to doesn't have a music video attached to it. There's no actual you know, video for it. So I, I wonder if YouTube, given its video focus, is almost inherently not a core music platform, so much as it is kind of a, a new MTV, as MTV was back in the 90s. Hmm. Um, well, well, so I downloaded the YouTube Music app this morning, um, so I haven't really gotten too much time to play around with it, but I was, uh, it uh, recommended some mystical song, Danger, classic. Mm. Is it Good. Mystical? Mystical. Are you not unfamiliar? The oh, song man. Danger? All right, I'm just going to, I, I, <laughs> right, know about, I know all about that. Yeah, yeah, I can right. comment for you. All anyway, right. great song, great throwback, great rec. Um, and so they played the video, but the video was just a screenshot of the album. So, uh, and, and okay. that's how a lot of, or that's how a fair number of videos mm -hmm. are on YouTube. Anyway, I mean, nearly so. every song is actually on YouTube, but it's often just what you say. It's a screenshot or like... Yeah, but then there's video. also like copyright issues sometimes and like just videos get bit. taken down and things right. like that, so... Okay, so before we move on, I just want to ask, you know, do we, do we think that the pace of change we're seeing in music right now is going to persist or do you think we're going to see kind of a um, denouement and a decline of change in the larger music business? I mean, it, for a while, it was basically just like Spotify and Pandora kind of moving things forward and now you have Apple and Google of two... Pretty big Are companies. they like big companies? Yeah, they're like, oh, you know, they're relatively large going it, after this space. Oh, so. Do they have like money? Hmm, interesting. I think Apple yeah. makes money. Oh, right? well, and then what's, yeah. Maybe they should buy a so. watch company. And then yeah. what's Jay Z's title? Title. Oh, yeah. but, oh but, but, man, no, 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 title. We're not even going to go with that. Right. Title, title is the modern day Zoom, okay? <laughs> Title is Microsoft Can. It's, it's danger. It, it's literally all those things that were like, yeah, no. Mm. Yeah, that's about right. All right. All right now, this week, uh, one other thing dropped quickly before we go. Um, the iPad Pro. The iPad Pro came oh, out. Right. Uh, all the reviews dropped. iPad we Surface. Uh, I call it the Apple Surface, actually, if you will. Oh, Apple okay. Surface that's Pro 4 yeah. 3 XP Edition. Um, I'm just I'm very curious if you guys have any interest in buying one for yourself. That's my main question, I guess. So I don't know if, I mean, I've never used a Surface either, so I don't know if they I are. I have like six in the yeah, office. Yeah, I know. Well, I don't know if they're replacements for PCs, right? If they're, I mean, if it turned out to be a replacement for a laptop, it's just like a big slate, then like that's kind of cool, I guess, right? Mm -hmm. But if it's, you know, doesn't play Mass Microsoft's Effect. Microsoft's gonna call me now. I, I always I ask you this question. That, I, I always ask you this question. What the questions. hell? And I'll be like, I tried. Yeah, I always ask you this question. Like, does it play Mass Effect? Yeah. It does not. But okay. I mean, so <laughs> do, is there a pro, uh, iPad Pro in your future? No. There's, I've just never really been that into tablets. I've owned two tablets in my life, and I've always just ended up selling them on Gazelle or Amazon. Have or you seen something. the new Amazon tablet? 
<laughs> See, I, I still really like pen and paper, but um, but you I guess what's great use. about the iPad Pro is for designers, and you get yeah. the pencil. Yeah, the pencil was pretty cool. Yeah, so. and, and Matthew Panzerino's <laughs> review, like it did look really cool what he was able to do with it, but that's just not. It's not for me. So to, to conclude with a bit of uh, TechCrunch dickishness, I just finished the uh, Walter Isaacson Steve Jobs biography. And uh, in that, Jobs says, a kind of a quote, if you have to use a stylus, you've failed. Yeah, but they're not really using a stylus. It's a pencil. Oh, 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 it's yeah. a pencil. It's, it's a for design. It's a stylus. Like so maybe. I don't know. I'm glad we're ending Crunch Week for all time with me being angry. Because it's a very appropriate <laughs> way to drop the mic here and segue off. But um, thanks for coming around, guys. You know, we do a ton of video here. And this is just one small piece of it. But it's been a lot of fun. And I hope, I hope it's been useful and maybe even funny here and there. So thanks for being with us. And um, that's it. <laughs>